Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to show you how you can separate maybe a mesh into different um, poly groups so that you can work on things individually and it'll just help you when you're trying to get a lot more details and it'll it's just a better workflow. So if you don't already know, control and shift is the select tool so you can select things that way. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come over here into lasso and by the way, this is um, the ZBrush um, default man so you can just load this if you don't have anything just so you can learn this workflow um so cool so let me check to make sure okay this already has polygroups already so this is kind of what we kind of want a little bit different but what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down to polygroups and we're just going to group everything um and start over so group visible okay so it's one group cool and i'll go ahead and turn that off and so what we want to do is let's make sure symmetry is on so we got symmetry and then we got select lasso so those are the first two things okay so really all you need to do is say we want the arm by itself so we can work on the arm so we'll come over here i'll do a little lasso of the arm or where we might want to work on it and then it will separate that and i don't want you to get confused by these other sub tools because that's what they are i'll just hide them okay and so um, make sure that we have our poly group um palette open and then so now if I go to polyframe it is the same color and by the way if you don't know how to use the select tool um, control shift is just to activate it um, and like as we saw all you have to do is really drag click and drag and then that will create the lasso and you can select it but once you have it into this stage um, you can hold control shift and click on the background to bring everything back or I'll press control Z or you can control shift drag to invert it okay I just wanted to make sure you guys kind of knew that um, so back to what we're doing we'll do this one more time I'll just lasso the arm alright so we got the arm right? so what you, all you really need to do is just group visible alright and so now we have two different um, polygroups that we can control and the way you select the polygroups is just hold control shift and click on the polygroup sometimes it'll do that I don't know why it does that but ZBrush is a little weird it just it, it, it might do that but that's how you select different polygroups See, it, does, it did it again. I, I, I'm not sure why ZBrush does that. It's a little bug. But basically, um, just keep holding Control shift and clicking until it allows you to select the whole thing. So there we go. We already have two different subtools. And you can already see why this would be useful. Because I can just select this. Right, it's doing that again. Um, I guess just be careful. When you select an edge loop now in 4 or 7, it kind of does that. Um, but yeah. So anyways, what I was saying was select your polygroup. And then now you can just work on this individually and that's just so much better instead of working at it as one um, whole sub tool okay so I'll do it a, a little bit more so say we wanted to work on the head individually um, just hold control shift bam alright um you, you probably want to do it a little bit neater than me but you get the idea group visible so there we go we have that and then we can come into the legs and I guess I'll show you another way to do it without the um the use of the this select lasso. Um, what you can do is you can come into move and hold. Um, I'll turn off the polyframe for this. Hold control, okay, and then drag. Controls for mask. And by the way, I'm on Windows. If you're Mac, it's Command, Command Shift. Everything I said for controls, Command. But anyways, um, I'm gonna drag this mask out to the point where I want it. So right there, okay. And so then what we can do is we can invert this mask. I'm gonna hold control, go back to draw. Hold control, click on the background, if you're Mac it's command, um, and then so now we inverted that and we have where we want our polygroups masked. So it's basically the same concept, as, and, um, but this time we're using mask. So I'm going to go to group mask, and so now we did the same thing but we did it with a mask. I just wanted to show you two different ways to do it, um, I don't know, you might find that useful. And so that's basic, that's the concept, I mean I could keep going and do it for each one of these. But the reason I showed you the mask is because that's really easy to do the fingers. You can just um, use the transpose tool to mask everything. Um, and so I can just be like control, control, mask that, mask that, invert it. So it's just really quick. The transpose tool makes things really fast. So I just wanted to show you that. And um, yeah, um, I hope that um, makes your workflow a little bit better. I hope that helps you um, work more efficiently. So thanks for watching, guys.